Welcome to a new guitar lesson. Today we have a look at Hedonism by Skunk and Nancy, one of my favorite songs from the 90s. If you're interested in sheet music of the song, you can go to my Patreon page. There you can download the lead sheet of the rhythm guitar part. If you enjoy the lesson, please hit subscribe and ring the bell. The song starts with a, with a clean rhythm guitar part we're in the in the key of E flat and we're sta we're starting on an on an F minor 7 chord. We bar the the 8th fret and we add our second finger on the 9th fret of the B string and our third finger on the 10th fret of the D string. And our guitar riff starts on the A string which is played twice. And then we pick the B and the E string. After that we remove the second finger and play a hammer-on on the B string on the ninth fret. Then we play once again the two upper strings and then we add our fourth finger on the eleventh fret of the B string. And at the end we remove the fourth finger and go back to the to the ninth fret of the B string. So the first bar of the riff goes like this. Our next chord is an E flat major chord with a G in the bass. We have still our first finger barred on the eighth fret and we add the third finger on the tenth fret of the A string. We start picking the A string, D string, and then the G and the B string together. Then we're playing a hammer on from the from the eighth fret of the A string to the tenth fret. Then up to the D string, G string, once again the G string, D string, G string. So the complete second bar. And these complete two bars. Then we repeat the, the F minor seven chord. Played exactly the same, then back to the E flat major chord with the G in the bass. And we start in the same way as we did before. First the A string, then the D string, then the G and the B string together. And then there's a hammer round pull off lick, which goes like this. We're starting once again playing a hammer on from the A fret of the A string to the 10th fret of the, of the A string. Then we do the same on the D string. And then we do a hammer on and pull off on the G string. Also 8th fret to 10th fret. And then we end on the 8th fret of the D string. So this complete bar. The complete intersection. This riff is also played during the verses and at the end of the verse we, we start once again with the F minus 7 chord. And we stay on this F minus 7 chord. 
because playing this this normal F minor seven chord and then we add once again the fourth finger on the eleventh fret of the of the B string. which leads us to the chorus section. For the chorus section we change to a more distorted sound. And the easiest way to, to play the chorus is with power chords. We are starting on an E flat power chord, going down to a, to a B flat chord, to an F power chord, up to an A flat power chord. But if you're listening to the original recording, the, the, the chorus section sounds a little bit fuller because there are some other guitars in the background. And if you, if you want a more fuller sound with only one guitar, you have the possibility to, to play some sus2 chords. So we do not only play the E flat power chord, we, we take our first finger and bar the two upper strings also. And then we get this E flat sus2 chord and then we can try to add the two upper strings on, on some beats of our groove. This, we use the same voicing for the B flat chord and when we change to the to the to the F chord we can use this sus2 voicing, we we have our first finger barred on the third fret, then we add the third finger on the fifth fret of the G string and the fourth finger on the sixth fret of the of the B string. And for the for the A flat chord, we use the same voicing, uh, three frets higher, and then we ca can play the section like this. what gives us a richer and fuller sound. After the chorus section, there's another verse part and another chorus part. And after the second chorus, there's a key change and a guitar solo. We have a look at the guitar solo in one of the next tutorials. The key changes one, one note higher and the, the chords for the, for the guitar solo are G, A, B, this is repeated two times. One more time. And the last time we have G, A, C. What leads us back to the next chorus section. And the chorus is also played one note higher, so we're starting on an F chord, to C chord, G, B. And this section is repeated four times because there are two choruses at the end. And as an outro for the song, we, we repeat the part we played in the beginning but also one step higher. So we are starting on a G minor seven chord now. And we only play the, the two first bars of the intro riff and repeat them uh, four times.
last time we end on this F major chord with an A in the bass. This was the rhythm guitar part of Hedonism by Skunk and Nancy. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you're interested in the, in the guitar solo, stay tuned. It will follow in one of the next tutorials. If you enjoyed the lesson, please hit subscribe and ring the bell. If you're interested in sheet music, visit my Patreon page. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.